Five, ten years ago, it was one of the ugliest buildings in town. The local businessman decided to renovate it. I think he did a good job. Today, the ugliest building in town is the town hall. <laughs> but I think people working there don't deserve anything better. So. <laughs> composer Karol Szymanowski. This building was Szymanowski's house in 1930s. Another famous Polish composer connected with Zakopane was Mieczysław Karłowicz. Karłowicz was actually a person special. It looks a little bit like a sleeping person with his head on the right. That's why, well, sometimes Americans call it sleeping George Washington. Pretty interesting a pretty interesting uh, local tradition. Every year, usually around Easter, women living in these houses, they get brushes, water with soap, and they scrub the walls from the outside. And the funny thing is, tradition says only women do that. I have no idea why. But, well, in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense to change this tradition, because traditions are something bringing tourists here to Zakopane. <laughs> Uh, and, well, another uh, controversial tradition from here says that when entering uh, a restaurant or a bar, uh, men enter the building first and ladies follow them. But this one has a very good explanation because in the 19th century entering a bar was very, very uh, dangerous, which was connected with lots of flying objects, bottles, chairs and something, sometimes even something bigger. So that was for the safety of the ladies entering the building. Hello. These are the colors of Our Lady and the colors of Vatican. This is the road leading to one of the most popular, one of the most famous modern churches in Poland, dedicated to our Polish Pope, John Paul II. We'll see this church uh, in a few minutes. The idea was started by a local priest from Zakopane. It took him 12 years to collect money and to hire the best. Horses and coaches. Horses, horse eating from the bag. Food bag. Horse eating his lunch. Cheese stand, cheese.
real flower. 